Miss Michelle Roger here to do another My Beauty workout with you. Today we have kind of a hybrid day one workout. Um, it's not, depending on how heavy you lift and depending on your pace, it can be more of a circuit or it can be more of a uh, more intense traditional lifting workout. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it as a little bit lighter weight circuit for myself. Um, it's a day one workout. Um, we're going to start with wide stance deadlifts, where we have a do a booty clench on those. Second exercise is goblet squats. Third exercise will be uh, kettlebell swings, uh, really emphasizing our hip thrust and squat depth on those. And then at the uh, last exercise is going to be lunges, and we're going to do them in a ladder fashion, uh, alternating and I'll show you that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the circuit twice and then uh, it's your option if you want to do it two more times. Just start the video over and start again. So first exercise is wide stance deadlifts with um, butt punch. So what you need is a weight bar and get your feet nice and wide, put your toes out. So normal, normal stance would be shoulder width apart, and then really think about jutting those hips forward as you as you come up from the motion. So nice and lower down, nice and slow. Really good stretching that glute and knees together. And down, nice and slow. The movement should be in your hip, but you can bend your knees just slightly. Shake it out. Give yourself about 20 30 seconds in between exercises. Get set up. So, now what we're going to do is goblet squat. So, we're going to have a wider stance. You can hold on to either a dumbbell or a kettlebell. Up, like it's a goblet. So, and high like this. And we're going to do a higher, a wider stance just like we did. And we're going to squat down. Nice and low. Back up and squeeze those glutes if you want. And clench that butt together. This is a 15 pound kettlebell if you're wondering. You can hold the handle too. The difference between these and plie squats is plie squats, you let the weight be held down lower. You don't have your elbows bent and you're not holding it under your chin. You're holding it down and that would actually be touching the ground on these. So let's do, I think we're about eight. <laughs> I leave this check when I talk. Nine and ten and squeeze. Good. So play would be more like this. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to do the kettlebell swings with a nice squat and lower body emphasis. So basically, you don't want the kettlebell to come up any higher than shoulder width, but all the motion is in the squat. So once again, a little wider stance, and I'm gonna clench and thrust those hips forward. So down and up, down and up, down and up, down and up. Use that thrusting motion to get that kettlebell up. You're not really lifting it with your arms, but with the momentum of the Thrust. We're going to do 15 of these. About 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Good. Give yourself about 30 seconds to recover. And then we're going to do our last exercise, which is alternating lunges. We're going to be doing forward lunges. So I'm going to do them to the side so you can see a little bit better. But you can do these with no weight. You can do these with dumbbells. You can do these holding kettlebells, whatever you want. But I'm going to put um, 
that barbell I was using for the deadlifts on my back. So, now I call these ladder lunges because we're gonna go the number wise, we're gonna ladder up, and then next set we do, we're gonna ladder down. So that means, basically I'm gonna do one on each foot, then two on each foot, three on each foot, alternating each, okay, so first foot, one, forward and back, two, okay, so now we're going to do two on each foot, again, Round. So it's five on each foot. So that was a full circuit. Give yourself a good minute to recover. Get a drink if you need to. <sighs> Turn on a fan, get some air conditioning going. <laughs> That's the way I feel right now. So those lunges really get your heart rate up. And really work your whole lower body, especially your glutes. So get ready for round two. Now what I was seeing, that you can make this a lot harder, um, more uh, about strength building. And that's what I prefer for day one workouts. Um, so the way to do that would be just doing everything with heavier weight and maybe even lower reps, lower down to six to eight reps and take a minute between each exercise versus the entire circuit or you know the short rest periods, really amp it up. So this is more of what I would call a buffing style workout. It's still heavy, it's still working hard, but it also can, it conditions you cardiovascularly. And it's just go, go, go. More about keeping muscle than building muscle. So um, this is more of a buffing style you know, take on this workout. Whereas a boosting style, I'd be you know, deadlifting, doing the deadlifts with 135 pounds versus you know, the 60 pounds that I'm doing here now. Same thing with even the lunges, I might put a little more weight on. Um, and of course the kettlebell, the goblet squats, I could use a heavier dumbbell or something like that. So, you know, but the longer rest period allows you to take your time and have optimal anaerobic effort, which is without oxygen. So you're not really, you know, tapping into that high heart rate and, and things. Okay. So now we're gonna, since we rested a little, about a minute or so, we're gonna go ahead and do it again, okay? So this time I'm gonna turn to the side on me so you can kinda see the, the hip thrust and the motion of it. So okay, so it's wide stance. So if you're a little wider than the shoulder apart, deadlifts with a glute squeeze. So really squeeze those glutes together. And most of the motion is in my hips. Slightly bending, let me keep my lumbar curve in there. And lowering down nice and slowly. It's not a race to get down and squeeze. The power on this is in the upward motion, but the 
Eccentric motion is huge for muscle growth because it stretches you. You want to stretch and come up and squeeze and clench those glutes together. Really squeeze. Now, on the last few reps, it gets kind of hard to squeeze, but just think about it. And one more. So do about 10 of those. I'm not sure if I, uh, if I got 10 in or more or less, but a little jabber draw here likes to talk. Okay, so now I'll show you the goblet squat or the goblet squats. Now, you remember you're holding them up, up here by your chest, whether it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell. And what you really wanna do, have your feet wider stance again, toes pointed out slightly, and get nice and low, nice and low. Help bring those elbows in between your knees and come up and squeeze those glutes forward, judging those hips forward. So you can squeeze. Two. Three. Once again, this is not a race. Get a good, nice and good stretch. Squeeze. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Stretch <laughs> and squeeze. Good. All right, now we're gonna do the swings. I'll switch sides. <laughs> I'm gonna go to this side this time. And I want you to really notice how the kettlebell swings because of the momentum and not so much because of my arms, my shoulders. So, nice wide stance once again. You just squat down and jet forward. And inch it forward. Three. Fifteen of these. Four. Five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Oh. All right. Getting that heart rate up. Give yourself about 30 seconds. And we're gonna do the lunge ladders again. This time we're gonna go down. So we'll start with five on each leg and then go down to one. Get your weights, whatever you're gonna be using. Put them up on your back or whatever. All right, so this time I'm gonna start with my left leg and I'm gonna do five. So ready? One. Four on this leg this time. I like going down on the ladder. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Four on this leg. Two. Three. Really push. Four. All right, it's gonna get easy from here on up. Three. One, two, three, three more, three, two, one, great, now just two, two, one, and two, Just one more each leg. You uh, you got it. One and one. Yay! Okay. See what I mean? 
going down the ladder is way easier than going up. All right, well, good job today. I think that was a good little workout. All together, it only took us, what, a little over 15 minutes. So that is a good booty workout. Now you can use this kind of as a warm up, maybe do some traditional squats after this, or you can use it the standalone workout, and or you know you can go and do some walking or hiking up hills uh, to really accentuate those glutes. But anyway, no matter what, keep on working that booty. It does work if you work it. Get after that boot day. <laughs>